everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and today I have almost all wedding dress trims, um, the, the hem pieces uh, and some bows at the end. Uh, so let's get started. <clears throat> Up first is Lot P and this one I have three separate pieces of for a total of eight yards. <clears throat> this one is the Alençon corded with iridescent sequins and pearl beads. There are some um, rice beads on here. And this is what it looks like. It is five inches deep at the deepest point here. This part is probably about two inches. Got a nice uh, cluster in the center of each one of these peaks. <clears throat> so this one is lot P. I'm asking three dollars a yard and as I said I have eight yards um, that are in three different pieces so you may not get a continuous length of whatever it is you want. Um, I'll let you know if it's not continuous. <clears throat> lot Q is a white embroidered trim. This is what this one looks like very pretty. Um, just the bead clusters in the center of the flowers and some sequins at the top of the peaks there. This one measures three inches deep right from here down to here. Uh, I am asking 250 a yard for this one and I have six and a half yards of this one. That was Q. Lot R is very very pretty. Um, come up a little bit. This one is the Alençon corded one. It is white with clear sequins and pearl beads. It has a pretty scallop design. Um, <clears throat> this one is four and a half inches deep at the widest point there. And that's what the trim looks like. Very pretty, very nice quality. Um, this one I have five and a half yards, and I am asking three twenty-five per yard for lot R. Oh, this one I forgot to sh to say. I started taking it off. It's it's on a very most of it is on this very fine um, tool, very soft tool. It is extremely hard to get it off of here. It will come off. You just have to have patience. <clears throat> um, it'll come off without losing beads and sequins. Um, but probably it'd be easier if you just um, fussy cut, fussy cut around the top there. So I need to mention that you you will most likely get um, most of it on that very fine tool. <clears throat> And that was R. Lot S is absolutely stunning. This is by far my favorite of what I'm offering today. <clears throat> it is a cream with iridescent sequins that are very, very iridescent. You can see them really catching the light. Um, it's a very thick hem. This one is eight and three quarters inches from top to bottom. And you will get, in one yard, you will get six of these kind of individual medallions in one yard, just so you have an idea. And this can be cut up in different ways. Look at that flower, how beautiful that is with the cluster of pearls in the center. Pretty scallop bottom <clears throat> and leaves coming off of it. Uh, this one's beautiful. Um, there will be pieces, this is such a wide trim, there will be places where there's like a, a cut in the tool where it had to like overlap a little bit to go around the, the curve of the train, but it is all, all intact. 
So this is Lot S, the Alençon, and it is $6.50 per yard, because you, you get a lot in one yard. And I have, I only have six yards of this one available. That's beautiful. I love that one. If I don't sell all of that, I will be keeping some for myself. This one also is beautiful. It is also a cream one with iridescent, very iridescent sequins on it. This one's Lot T. It is four inches deep. And this one you can cut, cut up into these little individual medallions. Uh, per yard you'll get nine of these individual medallions. And this is what it looks like close up. Very pretty embroidered. This one um, is embroidered. It is cream. It's definitely a cream, dark cream color. Gorgeous. I love this one too. Um, this one I have eight and a half yards of this one and I'm asking five dollars per yard for this one. This one also if I don't sell it all I'll be keeping some for myself. I have to do it that way. If I start taking stuff off that, that I want to keep for myself I'll never be able to get around my house. <clears throat> um, Lot like you is an Alençon. It's white with, um, this one also has iridescent sequins but not quite as iridescent as the other ones that I just showed. But they are iridescent. You can see the colors catching on them. Um, this one, oh, I didn't, did I tell you that that last one is four inches deep? I can't remember if I said that or not. Um, this one is three inches deep from here to here. And this is the pattern in this one. Pretty scallop design. This one is a lot U. Um, oh, this one, this one I'm selling in, um, I have two pieces that are each two yards um, per piece. So I'm selling this in a two, year, two yard piece for four dollars for the two yards and I have two um, pieces available of you. I think that's the only one that I'm selling that way. Lot V doesn't have any beads or sequins on it but it's just embroidered on a sheer background. Um, this is Lot V. It's three and a half inches deep and that's the, the pattern. You can see how sheer it is. Um, this one I have six and three quarters yards and I'm asking a dollar twenty-five for lot V. Lot W. I have a lot of iridescent this time. Oh. This one is also, also has iridescent. <clears throat> this one is four inches wide. I have to say with this one that the pearls and sequins are glued on. They are they're I mean they're not they're not really coming coming loose as I handle them, but I do notice that there are some um, a few missing, uh, mostly the sequins at the on the bottom here. Um, this one is a I'd say just a just off white uh, color. Um, I have seven and three quarters yards of this one, and I'm asking two seventy-five per yard. Very pretty. It's got the the different pattern in the um, the background, like right there. <clears throat> that is lot W. Lot X is a very wide hem. Let me come out on this one. Um, I have two pieces of this one and this is another one that I believe 
since it's so wide there are some places where um, there might be a little break in the in the pattern for it to overlap this one is nine and a half inches deep from top to bottom uh, it is the Alençon corded and it has clear sequins on this one very large clear sequins to match the large size of the of the um, the hem has some nice beadwork on it. These bead swirls there and here. It's got also has the different pattern, several different patterns of um, the background uh, netting that it's on. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this one I have two pieces. I am selling this one um, six dollars per yard because you get a lot in a yard. It's nine inches um, deep. Uh, yeah, I have six and a half yards of this one in two different pieces. And that was X. Y is some pink for my pink lovers. I've had this one before. Um, this one, what you're going to get, one is just over one yard, and in one yard, this one, this is the one that can be cut up into individual appliques. You've got the the rose here and the leaf coming off it, and then there's the, the part where you can cut, and then you've got another one you can cut, or you can use it as a, as a hem, as a trim. Um, this one is two and a half inches wide. In one yard you will get five of these appliques um, if you choose to cut it up. And I'm asking $3.50 per yard and I have about 15 yards. I have a whole bunch of this. About 15 yards of this one. And that was lot Y. Oops. It's about to topple over. Um, lot Z. This is in a hem. I have a, a sleeve panel. It has the Alençon corded um, appliques on it. It is uh, about 18 inches long by about 8 inches wide, I think, at, at this part. Um, the appliques on this one for the most part are going to come off without losing beads and sequins. There are a couple places where you might have to um, seal down a stitch, but for the most part it looks like it will come off. And these are the appliques that are on it. The Alençon corded with clear sequins on this one. You've got these large appliques at the top on both sides. There's a string of pearls that you can get off and reuse those somewhere. And then uh, down at the cuff you have that with the satin covered buttons. Um, six of them. So that is lot Z. It's a sleeve panel. I have four of these and I'm asking $2.50 per piece for lot Z. And now we switch over to some bows. I haven't done bows in a while and my bow box was getting was over getting overflowed overflowing. I'm gonna come all the way out here. Bow number one has this crinkly um, fabric all the way around it with a um, satin rose in the middle with some pearl stamen in the center of that. And this is that crinkly shiny crinkly material going all the way around it. It measures about 15 inches this way by about 13 inches this way. All of these bows I only have one of each one. Uh, bow number one I'm asking two two dollars for this. Uh, that's bow number one. Bow number two oh, here it is. Um, this one has it's a, a double bow and in the center of it are three um, satin roses with leaves coming off of them. Uh, this one measures about 10 inches by 12 inches and these are the 
the rolled or the satin roses in the middle with the leaves coming off of them. These you can you can take those off. Just a few snips and you can take those off and reuse them. Bow number two, I am asking two dollars and fifty cents, and I only have one of that one. Bow number three is a well it's kind of a bow it was on the back of the of the bodice <clears throat> going down the train it has two big rolled roses with um, pearl stamen in the middle of them and then one large heavily beaded applique coming down the center and I believe oh, I can't tell yeah I think the the applique and the roses will come off if you want to just use reuse those. So this is number three. It is 15 inches by 12 inches and I am asking three dollars for this one. Bow number four is big, very big. It's 14 inches by about 14 inches totally. And it has two layers of this crinkly um, material that you would be able to, if you want to cut it, cut it off and reuse it on a project. Very pretty crinkled satin. And then two um, satin rolled roses in the middle of it. Um, what did I say? I'm on number four. This one I'm asking three dollars for. And I only have one. Bow number five is just a single bow. It is uh, actually a simple bow with three appliques on it with mm, slightly iridescent um, sequins and nice beadwork on the, the appliques, fairly heavily beaded. They are the, um, these you'll definitely be able to come off, they're, they're barely hung on by a couple of stitches. So this is bow number five. It measures 15 inches by about 11 inches this way. I'm asking $2.50 for this one, and I only have one. And last, lastly, I have a simple pink bow. Um, it's just a satin bow. It measures about 13 inches this way by 8 inches that way, and I'm asking $1.50 for this one. And that's all I have for today. I forgot to say that I do still have from last weekend's video one applique grab bag and several of the doily grab bags and I'll put the link down below to that video um, if you're interested in any of those as well. Okay now bye for now.